Hey everybody, it's Ryan back with Chosen Society. I wanna thank you guys so much uh, for being a part of what we're doing here. Um, today's video, I just wanna speak life into you by letting you guys know that your testimony is giving life to people. I, I'm gonna say that again. Your testimony is giving life to other people. Now, um, the Bible lets us know and declares that we should rejoice in the day uh, because, and rejoice in today because the this is the day that the Lord has made. We should be uh, rejoiced and be glad in it, right? Um, now, a lot of times we can start our day, and I know like spe specifically this morning, I started the day with gladness. I started the day with the Lord, but after you leave his presence, after the Lord uh, gives you a word, the enemy comes right afterwards to try to steal and to snatch back that word. And the word that I heard from the Lord, didn't hear a lot of things this morning, but I heard testify and I heard testimony. So um, I went on my day and again, as, as I said, the, the enemy tries to snatch um, the word uh, from you. He starts to snatch the word from me. And uh, right before I just started to record this video for you guys to bring you some encouragement on today, um, I ran into um, one of, uh, I guess our neighbors here, and uh, her name is Miss Velma, and she's 91 years old. Uh, she believes in the Lord. Every time I see her, we talk about the Lord. Um, she's fully able. She's she 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 walks. Um, she does her all of her own errands. Um, she's in great mental condition, great physical condition, and you would not believe that she's you know, 90, going to 91 years old uh, next month. And it's because the Lord has blessed her, the Lord has graced her. And I'm even reminded here on today that how powerful that the Lord would talk about testimony and testify. Um, and then her just to, to, to confirm her age and talk about the goodness of the Lord. It gave me life to my situation. Um, it gave me perspective. And the Lord is going to use you to do the same thing. Some of you guys have, uh, you're a chosen one. So you are the person who God has selected to be a generational curse breaker. You're the person God has chose to be the lifeline to your family that changes things um, economically, that changes things mentally and emotionally um, in your family's situation. So there's a unique set of hardships that more than likely you've had to go through um, to carry this assignment, to carry this uh, weighty matter. But I want you to know that despite what you've been through, despite what you're probably even going through, even right now, that I can just assure you that God is faithful. Um, just like on today, again, I needed some encouragement. The Lord sent someone to encourage me and by the Lord doing that, I'm sitting here. I want to encourage you guys, um, even right now. Uh, the most popular videos on this channel right now are me sharing specific situations about my life. Um, one of them was about how God separated me from my family and how he's been able to use that pain, that hurt, that heartbreak uh, to, to give life to other people. And, and the Lord is going to be doing the same thing with you. Um, everything that you experienced, everything that you went through, every tear that you had to cry, I mean, it was a, for a purpose. And most importantly, it was to help save somebody else's life. Somebody needs to hear um, your story from your perspective. That's going to be the seed, the fuel, the watering that it takes uh, to give them life in that moment, to believe uh, the promises that God has for them, for them to continue on. And you're going to be a blessing to so many people. So I just wanna encourage you on today, um, your testimony as you begin to share it, as you begin to open your mouth and be fearless in sharing with people the goodness of what God has done in your life and in and through your life, you're going to see the blessings be bountiful in your life. And I just want to um, encourage you. I do want to leave you guys here with scripture because I was reminded of this um, as I was talking to uh, Miss Velma. 
Um, and it says, and this is Proverbs 3 and 7 and th uh, to 3 and 8. It says, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. And I can tell that uh, Ms. Velma in her 90 years of age, um, she's followed that scripture to a T. And I can literally see the fruits of what abiding and fearing the Lord and not trusting in her own ways and trusting what the Lord is, is telling her to do, what this has afforded her in her life. And so I want to remind you, the Lord tells us to go out uh, to win souls. Uh, he gives us a great holy commission to go out into all the highways and byways and just talk about his goodness, to share his goodness. And so I want to remind you on today how impactful you doing that and what, what you doing that will actually do for somebody else. Um, it literally could be the difference between somebody deciding to check out of this world and to actually to press in to what God has for them and choose life today. So I wanna encourage you, choose life today. If you're a person, if you're sitting on the fence and this video popped up on your feed and you were actually down and depressed, uh, the Lord is thinking about you specifically. Um, I don't know your name, but I, I hear some names that are that are that are coming out right now. Adam, uh, Jessica, uh, Lynette, uh, 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 Ariane, uh, Ariana, um, Michael, uh, Tommy. Um, those are some of the names that I hear uh, right now. Um, if you're watching this video, the Lord has a special, special, special um, assignment for this video. He wanted you to see this today. And uh, for everybody who's seen this, it's for a reason. This video is here for a reason. Choose life today. Um, God is going to bless you tremendously. Uh, your testimony is giving people life. And I uh, like this video. Share this with somebody else. Hope this word inspires you. Uh, I did something and brought some joy to your day. God bless you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.